Okay, we're recording. Stand by. Welcome to Behind the Scenes. My name is Donette Douglas. I am the General Manager of WTJR, Channel 16 here in Quincy, Illinois. This program we're recording right here in the studio at 222 North 6th Street in Quincy, Illinois. So good to be with you today. God has been so faithful and continues to be faithful to the ministry work here at WTJR. I want to thank all of our prayer warriors out there, and many of you I know pray for us on a daily basis. We thank you for that. Thank all of you that financially support. Encourage us in any way. Drop us a note. And uh, the many, many um, pastors and uh, brothers and sisters in the Lord that have been guests on our local programs, we say thank you. It's such a blessing to work with you because you know what? We got good news that we're telling people. Good news, the gospel of Jesus Christ, and it can bring life, eternal life to them. And we're thankful for that, aren't we? Yes, amen. And to think that we reach the world. We reach the world with the gospel of Jesus Christ. Who would have ever thought? You know, when I was a little girl, and the, the scriptures would be read about how we would do greater things, you know. And uh, then Jesus, Jesus was talking about that to his disciples and his believer followers. I thought, how can that happen? But now we know because he sent the Holy Spirit that lives within, abides in those of us who have chose to receive Jesus as Lord and Savior. So Jesus is residing. <laughs> the Word, if you're in the Word and study and memorize it and meditate on it and live by it, it's in you. And the Holy Spirit, think about that. So I'm so thankful, so, so thankful that we can reach out, like I said earlier, with good news, the gospel of Jesus Christ. And I say thank you to all of you that have supported us in any way throughout the years, because it takes all of us, doesn't it? It takes all of us. Well, let's get started. We have several pictures to show you today. And uh, we want to start out with Pray 16. Uh, this was from last Friday. It was good to have our dear brother and friend in Christ Tim Red, he pastors a Second Baptist Church in Fort Madison, Iowa, and uh, Tim uh, was able to come back and, and join us last Friday, and it was powerful, and if you missed it, you can go on our Facebook page, WTJR TV, and you can watch it. It's on there because I'm telling you, the Holy Spirit is still well and alive on those programs. Amen, and you'll still get blessed, and then this has been Hendrix Meyer. Ben has been coming during the month of June, and he'll be here during the month of July doing live worship during the uh, Pray 16 program. So uh, we've enjoyed having him with us also. And then we taped some Outreach Connection programs. Uh, of course, they're hosted by Sandy Axton and uh, her and her husband, uh, Robert, um, pastor at the United Pentecostal Church in Palmyra, Missouri. And uh, one of the shows we taped was with the Heartlands Men Recovery Program. And J.C. Morgan there on the left. And then this is Dwayne Aldridge. They are leaders in the men's recovery program. And they gave their own personal testimonies. You want to be sure and watch this because this is a wonderful program for someone who seriously is ready to get out of any kind of addiction to get out of any kind of bondage and surrender their life to the Lord. This is a great, great program and great people of ministry to be involved with. Watch it on WTJR Outreach Connection coming up in a few weeks. Amen. And then we did a program with uh, DJ Gregory from WGCA, and it was wonderful to hear his testimony. I was not aware that he started volunteering 34 years ago with WGCA as a volunteer. And it was exciting to hear him share some of the testimonies. And uh, 
and how God uses Christian radio. Yes, Christian media is very important, very, very important today. And we can reach a lot of people with the gospel, amen. Whether it's through music, sermons, interviews, uh, God can use them. Yes, amen. And then we also taped a program with Matthew Coran. He is from Newcastle, Pennsylvania. And he was in here in the area with 21 other people on a mission trip. And they were helping down in Hannibal with the Harvest House and the Fishes and Loaves. And I think they even got out, got to go to HL, HLG, uh, Hannibal LaGrange University, and help them with some projects. So it was exciting to hear his testimony and about the mission work. So you want to turn in and, uh, to that program, too, in the coming weeks. This is Pray 16 from a, a couple of weeks ago. And Darlene Holliday, our dear friend from the Secret Place Ministries, was here. We always love for her to come. She is a prayer warrior, intercessor. And uh, it's just, uh, you know, to be with someone that is a worshiper through prayer is powerful. <laughs> it is powerful. And uh, I just am excited when she gets to come. Amen. And again, here is Ben uh, from the program on the piano. Thank you, Ben. We appreciate you, all you're doing for the kingdom of God. Amen. Amen. We want to encourage everyone, but especially our young people, as they get started in ministry. Amen. Okay, well, I want to remind you, this is about the last week, uh, July 2nd. Uh, the gift is the Pray the Promise book gift offer will end uh, July the 2nd, and if you uh, make a gift of $50 or more to the ministry, uh, you will receive this book. And if you want more information, you can go to ctnonline.com and uh, read more about this book. New tube, uh, new update, $15,795. Thank you so much. We had some more donations come in. We thank you for each and every one of them. If you would like to make a donation for the new tube, just be sure you write on your check. It's for the new tube, and we'll get it into that account. WTJR is a 16.5. Yes, we have five channels. When I look at that, I'm just still in awe because when I came 23 years ago to WTJR, we were just channel 16. And now our 16.1 is high definition. Our national local programming is high definition. Isn't that exciting? You should be shouting out there with me. God has blessed us so much here at WTJR, and we want to thank him that we have five channels. We are your locally supported Christian television station, and so we are a nonprofit, and uh, your do donations are tax deductible, and we have a great variety of programming for all ages. So check out 16.1. Two, three, four, and five. Amen. Amen. I want to encourage you that any of the local programs we record here, you can watch on our WTGR YouTube page. Uh, that makes it very convenient because I know a lot of you work or we have a lot of events going on right now, baseball games and swimming and vacations. But you can come home and relax when it gets quiet and you can watch some of the local programs. So tell people about it so they can watch too, okay? Thank you. Our July 2023 newsletter went out today. I want to thank all of our newsletter volunteers. They're so faithful to come and fold and uh, get the uh, newsletters out. If you would like to get on our mailing list, either by mail or email, please give us a call here or uh, send us a, drop us a note at 222 North 6th Street. And you can also email tv16 at wtjr.org. I also want to let you know, if you want, you can also go on our website, wtjr.org, to see our newsletter and our program guide. So if you'd like to get the newsletter, just let us know, okay? Thank you. Revive America Live. Now, I'd like to let you know that in July, it would have fell on July 4th, but uh, Bob is out with the Powerhouse team uh, doing tent meetings right now. They are celebrating their 20th year of tent meetings. There will be no live program in here at the studio on July 4th. 
So instead, uh, we were very blessed to have Ben Hendricks Meyer and Megan Ryan go out and they filmed, took a lot of video of the tent crusade when it was here in West Quincy, June the 30th. I'm uh oh, no, it's not. It was May 30th, and I should have 5 30 there through June the 4th. And so we are making up a program that you can watch on July 4th from 7 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. This will be a video from the Tent Crusade that was just held here in West Quincy a few weeks ago. Download the CTN app on your iPhone, your Android, or your tablet, or Roku or Apple TV app on your television. You can get CTN and all of the 24 affiliate stations, plus CTN I, which is the Spanish Christian programming, and CTN Lifestyle family programming. So WTJR is on there, so put it on your phone, take us with you, and tell others about it. Would you do that for me? Thank you. Friend us on our Facebook page, WTJR TV. We have the live uh, Facebook programs with Pray 16 on Fridays at 11 a.m. Revive America when we have the live programming here, which is normally on the first Tuesday of the month. That will be on. It will not be this month. Um, we also have community calendar events. We have local programming uh, information. Uh, we have videos and spots and scriptures, and you just have to check us out. We try to keep it current and put info on there, let you know what's going on here at WTJR, kind of like behind the scenes. Amen? So friend us on our Facebook page, WTJR TV. On Mondays, we invite you to join us. We have prayer here in the studio at 1 p.m. We're located at 222 North 6th Street. We're on the second floor. There is an elevator here, and you will have to ring the doorbell. And uh, we would be glad to have you join us for prayer here in the studio. If you need prayer, give us a call at 217-228-1616. If you happen to get the answering machine, leave your name and phone number and that you'd like prayer, and we will get back with you. Thank you. Next week on the 30th of June, uh, I will be co-hosting on Pray 16 with Gary Wallace, and uh, I am going to be co-hosting the fifth Friday of the month. So any of the months that have a fifth Friday, I'll be co-hosting with him this year. Friday, it airs live 11 a.m. to 12 noon on channel 16.1 and on our Facebook page, WTJR TV. We also repeat the program on Mondays at 9 p.m. And even though uh, it is a repeat, we do have phone operator. And you can give us a call with your prayer requests, your praise reports, or you can email pray16 at wtjr.org. Also, You and Me is the CTN Live uh, prayer call-in program. You can watch here on WTJR Monday through Friday at 11.30 p.m. The phone number is 1-800-716-7729 for your prayer request. So winning training, if you're interested in that, give us a call here. We'd love to talk with you, encourage you, we'll pray with you. We use the soul winning script from The Great Awakening. And our theme scripture is, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature, from Mark 16, 15. Hometown happenings, and this is when we give you information about events happening here in our area. The yellow area is our DMA area that reaches out 60 to 70 miles around Quincy. You can watch us over your uh, antenna, your local cable, over DISH channel 32. You can also um, go to our website, wtjr.org, and web stream our programming. The CTN app, don't forget about that. If you've got that on your phone or your Roku, you can watch it. And uh, YouTube, of course, like I said, it's just local programming, but you can watch some of the programs there. This week, I want to talk about the Summer Fan Program. It started June the 1st. Donations are needed to purchase new fans or donations of new or gently used fans of all sizes. Monetary donations can be sent to the Salvation Army, Post Office Box 75, Quincy, Illinois 62306. 
And I did want to let you know, I think we need to go back a screen. I think we had two screens go there. Thank you. Applications are being taken from 1 to 4 p.m. Monday through Friday at both locations listed before below. Family Service Center located at 501 Broadway here in Quincy or 200 Steamboat Bend Shopping Center in Hannibal, Missouri. You need to be over the age of 65 to apply, those with children under five years of age, and those who are disabled. And then I want to tell you about some events. Family Fun Day coming up July 2nd. Uh, rain date is July 3rd at the Durham Community Center. At 9.30 a.m., they'll have the community worship service sponsored by the Durham Baptist Church. Uh, be sure and bring your lawn chairs. The festivals, or festivities, I should say, will start at 3 p.m. They have bounce houses, the rock climb slide, lawn games, and more. At 6 p.m., they have a pulled pork meal and ice cream. At 7 p.m., they'll have a Christian concert. So bring your lawn chairs and enjoy the fireworks at dusk with them also. And then also on Sunday night, July the 2nd, Heartland will be having Salute to Freedom. And this will start at 9 p.m. They're going to have a free fireworks display at dusk to be held in the Heartland community, 6434 Shelby County Road, 150 at Bethel, Missouri. The public is invited. And uh, we do uh, are blessed by Heartland. And so if you want to, on Sunday, July 2nd, go out there and watch the fireworks. Amen. Hometown Happenings, or in behind the scenes, we'll put your information on here. The WTJR Community Calendar, Channel 16.1, and our Facebook page, WTJR TV. So send your information for your church or your outreach ministry event two weeks ahead of time to WTJR TV, 222 North 6th Street, Quincy, Illinois. You can call us or email tv16 at wtjr.org. Amen, amen, amen. Hallelujah. God is moving. And, uh, and it's good to go have good Christian fellowship and uh, meet other people. And maybe while you're there, you'll meet someone that you can share Jesus with. Yes, that makes it even more special, doesn't it? Amen, amen. Okay, we have a video today of from the Ten Commandments series program we taped here at WTJR. And uh, Jim Daniels was the host. And uh, we're going to re-air that this summer. And uh, Jim is going to tape six new programs that we'll be playing at the end. But we're going to show you a little bit of a video uh, preview of the Ten Commandments that will be starting to air next month. My friends, these Ten Commandments that you just saw flashed from the screen, these Ten Commandments, these two slabs of stone, have been a memorial to the Old Testament and the New Testament, showing God's love for His people. Now that may throw you in the beginning, because sometimes we look at the Ten Commandments as being condemning. They are redemptive. They're not meant to condemn man, they're to draw man to God who had been fallen because of Adam's sin. This is God calling us. Remember, in the Ten Commandments, let me just say this in the beginning. The first four has to do with our relationship with God. The other six has our relationship to do with our fellow man. This is God revealing himself in these these words that you're going to study and we're going to look at in these next 10 or 12 weeks 
I guarantee that when you leave this study, after these few weeks that you're going to be looking at them, you will see the Ten Commandments in a whole new way. You will see that these are a memorial, these slabs of stone are a memorial where God is reaching out to a fallen race to come to himself as a loving God. Now, in the Garden of Eden, after Adam sinned, Adam did not go looking for God. When God came looking for Adam, and this is why God being omnipresent, everywhere at once, all-knowing, knows everything, in the Garden of Eden, walked through the garden and said, Adam, where are you? Now, I ask you a question. Do you think such a sovereign God lost Adam in a small garden when he knows you by name and he knows me by name and he knows all things from the beginning of the end? Absolutely he knew where Adam was. But God said those words so we would see that it was God come looking for Adam. Now, God is a redemptive God, and God wants man who has now fallen into sin to now be in a right standing where we can fellowship with him. Yeah, amen. That'll be starting next week on the uh, 28th on Wednesday evening. It'll be on at 7.30 p.m., and then on the following Sunday, it'll be on at 2 p.m. in the afternoon. So I look forward to re-airing those. It's important we know about God's Word because it helps us to understand His love. Amen? Amen. CTN, WTJR, enjoy life, consider eternity. Our scripture again this week is from John 14, 6, which says, Jesus saith unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. A most important scripture for us to learn and understand that God made a way, and that was with Jesus Christ, to have our sins forgiven. He is the truth. He is this holy word. It says, the word become flesh and dwelt among man. And it is truth. And then he is the life and he resurrected from the dead. He paid a price for us we could never pay. And I'm so thankful for God's great love and the life that Jesus came to bring us, abundant life, everlasting, eternal life in heaven with God. But we have to choose to believe that he is Jesus, the Savior, Son of God. I want to share a little bit with you from in July newsletter. I wrote about the logo and uh, enjoy life, consider eternity. Now, I like to look up word meanings and I like to find scriptures that go along with that. So. Enjoy means to take delight or pleasure in, to possess and benefit from. Are you benefiting from the life that you're living? Life is the condition that distinguishes animals and plants from inorganic matter, including the capacity for growth, reproduction, functional activity, and continual change preceding death, the existence of an individual, human being, or an animal. I've also shared with you that I have uh, hanging up by my desk definition for life, living in freedom every day. To me, I have found that the only way we can live in freedom every day is to know Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior to abide, to dwell in him, to enjoy life, to take delight, possession, and benefit from our existence as a person. We need to have someone or something that we can put our faith and trust in. Someone or something that is not temporal, like the things of this world. And his name is Jesus Christ, the Savior of the world. John 3.16 says, For God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever, and we're all a whosoever, right, believeth in him, should not perish, but have everlasting life. 
Life is the opposite of death. Life. And we can choose that. Consider eternity. The word consider means to think carefully about something, typically before making a decision. Think about and be drawn toward a course of action. Eternity is infinite or unending time. As we consider eternity, we need to think carefully because this choice affects our eternal life. We will all spend eternity somewhere. But we make the choice today during this life, this physical body life here on earth to receive Jesus as our Lord and Savior or to deny him. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. He that believeth not the Son shall not see life, but the wrath of God will stay on him. John three thirty six. I encourage you, make a choice today. Choose life. Enjoy life in freedom every day in Jesus Christ. And look forward to that everlasting life with him eternally. I want you to listen to this invitation to receive Jesus today. All your life, there has been a God in heaven who loves you and wants an intimate, personal relationship with you. Sin made that impossible, but he sent his son, Jesus Christ, to remove that barrier and offer eternal life to whosoever will believe on his name. If you've never done so before, I encourage you to say yes to God today. Admit that you're a sinner. Believe that Jesus of Nazareth is the Son of God. Believe that he died on the cross for your sins and that he was raised from the dead on the third day. Commit to follow Jesus for the rest of your life. Now, tell someone about your decision because the Bible says, With the heart one believes unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. If you did that from a sincere heart, welcome to the family of God. You have taken the first step of a journey that you will be on for the rest of your life. You are now born again, a new creation in the eyes of your heavenly Father. God has a wonderful plan for your life. Call this station to talk about the next steps. God bless, brother. Amen, amen. Well, we're about out of time today. And I won't get to give you any information about local programs, but if you go to our Facebook page, WTJR TV, the information will be on there as to who the guests are and the message. But as George was given that invitation, do you know Jesus as your Lord and Savior today? Let today be your day of salvation. Let today be the day you say yes to Jesus and start that eternal, everlasting life in him. God bless you.